Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I will be talking to you guys about the new fragrance house uh, Fort and Manley. It's a niche house that has piqued my interest recently mainly due to them being so local. It's an Australian based perfume house which is very close to home. When I first tried this range I was very very impressed and then when I saw the bottles I was absolutely gobsmacked. They have three different series or groups of fragrances in their line and they are the Harlequin series, Levantine series and the Sultana series. The perfumer behind these exquisite creations is Mr. Rasi Fort. He's a young and very creative man and who to me creates art in the form of scent. His creativity shows in his work definitely. Uh, all of these fragrances are beautifully balanced using quality ingredients they are unique and easy to fall in love with. Another thing that strikes me with this house is some of the names of their fragrances, uh, which I'll mention later. You can see they have their own, their individuality and uniqueness about them, you know, from their scents to their bottles and their names. They're very, it's a very unique house. So let's start talking about each and every fragrance. So first I will talk about Maduro and I will show you the boxes first. So they come in these black boxes which had a seal on them but then I took them off for easy access. And this is the box they come in and they are all 50ml Eau de Parfums. So I open the box and it sits in here. And then you've got this bit here. Each and every bottle or box has something like this in it. And it's got, some of them have poems, some of them have little stories or something to read. So that's really good. So this is how the bottle looks like for Maduro because they all have different kind of colors or plaques on them. So this is Maduro. Look how beautiful the packaging is. It's just very detailed, beautiful stuff, very creative, black heavy, heavy bottles, even the, the caps are really heavy, so that's how they look like, glass, beautiful stuff. Now Maduro is a delicious woody, fruity, spicy scent. The notes for this one uh, pineapple, red apple, basil, cinnamon, damask rose, bourbon vanilla, beeswax, honey, tobacco, amber, patchouli, vetiver, benzoin and atlas cedar. So it's got a lot of different notes and they all work. They work together. It's a very, very warm fragrance and it just gets warmer and warmer um, during the wear. It's very complex and rich. So to me, the main notes um, that I can detect are the that pineapple note, the red apple, um, some you know a little sprinkling of the cinnamon, not too much, uh, the rose definitely, and the basil. The basil is amazing in this fragrance because with all the fruits and you've got those foody notes, and then you've got the other notes. This basil note breaks. Um, breaks off those notes from being too much you know from being too gourmand or too woody or it, it's just perfect so that was a very smart note i think to actually um put you know to break off that sweetness or the from a being too much you know and so the cinnamon is super pretty in here it's just a sprinkling of cinnamon not too much um, it's very well combined, so it's, you can't, I've sprayed them on some paper so I can smell them now. I have worn them on my skin before, but, um, I've just put them on paper for now. Um, very well combined, very well combined. It's like a, a be big, beautiful cloud of fruity, um, mmm, fruity sweetness and, and some woods. I would say that this is more of a grown-up fruity scent. All the fruits in here are more uh, of the um, overripe kind of a fruit. 
so it's not fresh or anything like that it's actually very warm it's more of a, a, a colder month scent to me anyway so I'd wear this in the colder months definitely or an autumn oh my gosh it's a perfect autumn scent actually mmm beautiful stuff and it's quite long lasting it creates a beautiful cloud around you so mmm beautiful stuff and Maduro is actually uh, in the Harlequin series the next one I'll talk about is this naughty one it's charlatan I love this bottle I love 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 this bottle it's so beautiful so beautiful this is a naughty little fragrance because it starts off being shy and innocent and a little bit flirty and then it just it becomes a little bit round, you know, it becomes a little bit of a tiger in the dry down. It just warms up and it shows its true colors. So it's very sweet. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. I've got it here. It's one of my favorite ones. I'll read the notes. Um, the notes are pear, dark chocolate, damask rose, Moroccan, jasmine, tube rose, osmanthus, Australian sa uh, sandalwood, amber, and Madagascan vanilla. So, the pear and the dark chocolate are to die for in this mix. They are so good. And then, of course, you've got the rose coming in. And, you know, you've got this beautiful, beautiful mix. It's, it's, it's sweet and innocent. But then it's enticing. It's rich. It's deep. It's deliciously naughty. So it's got a different. It just contradicts itself, you know. And that's what I love about it. And I think the dark chocolate in, in this fragrance cuts it off from being too sweet. So if if they had used just, just chocolate, it would have been too sweet, sickly sweet, too much. But it's the dark chocolate with the sweet pear and that rose is just magnificent. It just it's just perfect. And then you've got the osmanthus, which is a, a different, very different note. So it's it, combines very well i i really am very impressed by the creativity as i said i really am because some of the notes you think would kind of clash but they don't they work so so well um charlatan has character it's it's charismatic and it's a fragrance that is hiding something as i said it's kind of like it comes out to show you its real beauty you know in the dry down it's cheeky and innocent, but at the same time, you know, you don't want to trust it too much. It's, yeah, it's so, so beautiful. That was my take on Charlatan. I forgot to mention that the longevity is quite, quite well, actually. Um, it's, it's long lasting. As I said, that cloud around you would be, you know, a little bit on the heavier side like if someone was to come next to you or hug you they would say oh my gosh what are you wearing like they could detect it they could smell it and it's like it's a cuddle scent but it's kind of like more than a cuddle kind of a scent so if I was to wear this one I think I would wear it maybe if you were going to a date night or somewhere like a nice romantic place like a romantic restaurant or romantic hotel or something like that i'd wear this one definitely and also i'd like to add that it's more of a grown-up gourmand fragrance yep so that's what i wanted to add on that one so we're still in the same series um and this is another one in the same series. This is Confessions of a Garden Gnome. I love this name. I love this name. It's so cool. And I love this bottle. I think this is my favorite bottle. I just love it. I love all the pretty... I think these are flowers. I'm not sure. It's a garden or something. Oh, there's a there's a little, little gnome. Do you see him? He's so cute. I think... I think he's cute. <laughs> anyway, I love this bottle. Um, now, this one is a little bit different to all the other ones. So there are seven. There are seven. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the, in the line. And this one is kind of different to all the rest. 
Um, the notes for this one are pink pepper, coriander, Sicilian bergamot, yuzu, rose, lily of the valley, mango, violet leaf, white musk, amber, Virginia cedar, birch and ambergris. So all of these beautiful fresh kind of notes we've got going on there. Um, this fragrance takes me places. It's one of those fragrances that you put it on and you just go, you drift off to another land, another place. This is one of them. And the other place that I drift off to is magnificent. It's a magical, magical garden place. So if you could imagine a beautiful spring day and the sun's been out the whole day and then, you know, hours go by and it starts to rain and drizzle and then stop and then rain again and you're driving to a you know a beautiful botanical park and the sun is setting and you come out and you smell you you smell the flowers you smell the leaves you smell the garden the botanical garden and it's just spectacular and, and you become a princess. <laughs> this, this scent just, I don't know, I just feel like that when I wear it. So to me, it's an utterly beautiful garden on a spring day, um, that type of fragrance. It's, a, it's, it's one where you'll find a cottage surrounded by fresh flowers and bees buzzing about or, or it actually conjures this this image for me, right? If, if a fairy, you know, a princess fairy is dancing around and prancing and being cheeky on a bed of, of big, beautiful um, water lily pads in a garden, you know? Something like that. It just evokes those types of feelings or images or visions for me. And it's just fresh. It's so fresh. It's like a... A, a fresh breath of air you know it's not I don't want to say green I don't want to say fresh I don't want to say citrus because it's not it's just very very unique you have to smell it to be able to understand what what on earth I'm talking about it's it's sweet as well it's got a beautiful sweetness to it it's just beautiful so that's my take on this one and again it does create that warmth it's it goes it becomes a little bit warm um, in the dry down as well. So it's not a cold fragrance. It's a beautiful botanical garden kind of watery effect, but kind of warm and just it just hugs you. It just gives you a hug, you know, while you're laying down on the grass or something like that. The next one from the same series is Bozhnikov. Bottle is fantastic again. I love these bottles. Love these bottles. Beautiful stuff. Okay, this one. This one is a little tricky one. This one because every time I wear it, and I've worn it uh, three times, it changes. It just smells completely different to the first time, the second time, third time. It's just different. It's a different perfume, but they're all good. I love that about it actually because it's like you've got three different fragrances. But it just changes. I don't know why. I don't know if it's due to the weather or what type of material I have on. If I spray it on my clothes or my skin that day or my mood. I'm not sure. But this one changes a lot. But definitely in a good way. <laughs> so the notes for this one are lavender, dark chocolate. Again, yummy, yummy. Vanilla, vetiver, cedar, guy wood and agar wood, which is old in Arabic. Okay, so this one is an oriental woody beauty. Um, it's very, very woody, but it, it's in a, um, a smoky, dry, woody way. Um, it's aromatic, and the chocolate is in here is absolutely sensational. It almost has an incense vibe to it, and it's just intoxicating. This fragrance is intoxicating. That's perfectly suited word intoxicating the when I tried all of them I fell in love with this one the most this was my top one number one this was definitely my number one and this one I think it's got um, I think they use a, a, 
a specific oud in it that I absolutely adore. It's excellent quality, top quality stuff. Very woody. It's like burnt wood with a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of chocolate for the sweetness. And then you've got the lavender, um, which which is, is present but not really. It's like hiding somewhere, which is good for me because I don't really love... You know that fresh lavender flower scent? The one, you know, that I just can't stand it. It gives me a headache. This is not it. This is definitely not it. This is a more of a smoky, incense -y, woody, woody, um, chocolatey, delicious. It's just delicious. I love this. I love it. And it's got like a burnt, burnt aspect to it. Like something burning in the woods, you know? It's got that kind of effect. Um, I think this is probably their most popular one and I can definitely see why. It is phenomenal, guys. It's phenomenal. The first time I wore it, as I said, uh, it was all about chocolate and sweetness and it was just delicious. I was like, oh, this is absolutely yum. But then the second time I wore it, um, I didn't really pick, like it didn't, it was different. I didn't pick up the chocolate note I picked up more of the lavender note the third time I wore it however I got the burning woods I was in a forest burning woods around me and you know and then I smell some lavender and some and I'm eating chocolate I don't know it smelled like that it was more of a woody burning woody scent um today I did spray it on again and I got bits and pieces of ev every note um, this time I can actually smell bits of, of each note, which is beautiful. It's beautiful either way You know whichever way it smells any time. It's beautiful And I highly highly recommend this one Also, I just wanted to add that I I think this is very very sexy It's a sexy scent. I don't know what makes it that I think it's the wood and the chocolate together just gives it that, I don't know, that earthy sexiness. So if you're in a suit for a guy or, or going out to a dinner or, or something important, you could wear this. You could pull this off. Definitely, definitely would smell. You'd smell the best in the whole room. Um, it's got great longevity again. It projects nicely. Uh, the dry down, it's, again, it's a cloud. With these fragrances, I've discovered that they all become like a beautiful blended cloud around you in the dry down. So you pick up on the notes at the start and then in the dry down you've got a beautiful cloud that you just walk. People smell you and they're like, what are you wearing? It's beautiful. It's amazing. These fragrances are like that. Now we've moved on to the next series. This is the Sultanate series. So we've got Mr. Fatih. Sultan Mehmet here, not Mr. I just made that up, but <laughs> this guy here. Look how exquisite this bottle is, guys. It's oh, just gorgeous. I can't get over the bottles. Really can't. They've done a fantastic, fantastic job. I think I've, I must have said that a million times. But anyway, this one, I wanted to actually show you what they've got in here. So, let me just make room. So we've got this little card in here and this is very interesting because it's got points about this man, the Fatih Sultan Mehmet. He actually exists. It's a real man. And it says here, one of the things that um, ascended to the throne at the age of 12. Wow. So he's Mehmet the Conqueror and he said, O Constant." I, I don't like this word, it's so long. Oh, Constantinople, um, either you will take me or I will take you. So that I think that was his saying. If you want to find out more about this man, just Google him and he will come up. So obviously it was, uh, I'm guessing actually, that it was inspired by this um, Fatih Sultan Mehmet. Um, so I hope I'm right. <laughs> um, this fragrance was nominated in one of the awards, uh, fragrance awards this year. Might mention that. So the notes for this one are bergamot, 
petite grain, apple, tulip, iris, vanilla, ambergris, damask rose, virginia cedar, um, oud, musk, patchouli, amber, and benzoin. I don't see much fragrances with the tulip note actually, so that's interesting. So this one is a tricky one. This one is a tricky one because sometimes it's there and sometimes it goes into hiding and sometimes people smell it and you can't. So it's one of those fragrances. I think due to the musks that must be inside this fragrance, it's it's very musky. So it's a very musky, woody, slightly powdery rose perfume. It smells uh, lush and royal and it smells majestic, you know, and it, it would have been fit enough for um, Fatih Sultan Mehmet to actually wear it in, you know, in the palace. But um, as I said, it's very musky. So this is what happens when I wear it. Okay, I'll put it on and then I'll smell. I, I can't really detect it much because until it settles down a little bit because the musks tend to do that. But what I noticed is that everyone else can smell it, you know, and then they'll come up to me and say, oh, what are you wearing? It's so beautiful. And then I say, oh, can you smell it? And they're like, yeah, we can smell it. So it's one of those scents. There's another fragrance like that. It's the uh, Molecule One where you spray it on and you probably can't really detect it but then other people always comment and say oh my gosh you smell fantastic this is this type of fragrance so give it time you know if you try this fragrance or give it time because it's absolutely beautiful it's so beautiful and you know i get this image again me and my images are so funny but i'll say it because this is how i feel about it it actually if if this man was to wear this fragrance I could imagine he would have bathed in it so he would have put this whole you know bottles of this stuff because he was rich I'm assuming so he would have put all these bottles of this fragrance and bathed in this fragrance and then come out and uh, worn his you know beautiful velvety robes and stuff and then sprayed it on and then as he's walking in his palace you are just standing there sniffing, just smelling this gorgeous musky scent that envelops him. You know, that's how I imagine it. And if you were to go up to him, it would smell like his skin, you know, like a skin, like a salty skin with a little bit of rose and a little bit of musk. So it's like a second skin smell, if you get what I mean. I'm very confusing, but that's just me. That's how I see this fragrance. So it's, that's why I've said like maybe it's a, a smell of the skin, but a beautiful smell of the skin, like you've bathed in perfume water. Yeah, um, because it's got a little bit of saltiness in it. But yeah, so that one is my take on this. The next one in the Sultanate series is Harem Rose. Ooh la la, this is so spectacular. Beautiful stuff. So this is how it looks like. The bottle. And I also wanted to show you what's written in here. So we have a nice little poem in here. And it's written by Kanuni Sultan Suleiman to his beloved wife, Roxilana. What a beautiful name. So I'll just read the first bit. Throne of my lovely niche, my wealth, my love, my moonlight. So it's a, it sounds like a beautiful poem. I actually haven't really read it because I only opened these today. But I promise I will read them because I love reading things like that. I think it's an excellent idea that they've included things like that in the box, you know. Anyway, this little beauty here, oh, what a fantastic rose, honestly. And if you know me, you know that I'm, I'm not really a rose lover. But this one is just a perfectly blended rose for me. It's like, it's as if it's, it was made for me. <laughs> it's, I like my rose to be a little bit musky. 
and this is that this is a beautiful red vibrant warm rose red rose and with musk I'm sure there's other things going on in there but I actually don't have the notes because I couldn't find them I couldn't find them on Fragrantica site that's where I got all the notes from and they just had rose so but it's got much more going on um, this fragrance is so beautiful it's very sweet and sultry it's so sultry guys and just intoxicating as well. No, that was the name given to <laughs> Bozhnikov. I won't give it... Ex in I'll give it... Um, voluptuous. I don't know. It just That just that word just popped up in my mind. I think I'm going crazy, but I don't know. I just f find... Okay, this is why it popped up. Because this is what I imagine. I imagine someone like this wearing this scent, right? Imagine you're in a palace. You know, and you've got the sultan laying there and all these beautiful young women prancing around, you know, with their little costumes and feeding him grapes and all. And they will all smell of this fragrance. They will all be smelling like this. Or the room will be smelling like this and the room will be filled with, you know, flower petals, rose, red rose petals petals on the floor and it just yeah definitely brings that and then they're dancing you know exotically and stuff like that <laughs> for the sultan this is the vision that i'm getting at the moment you know i don't know it's just it's the perfect name for the freight for the scent actually oh it's bright at the same time it's warm and as i said it's a dark red young rose with musk and i think hang on no i can't really smell spice but i can smell something else in there maybe vanilla i'm not sure i'm not sure but i love this one and um look the longevity on all of these fragrances are really really good they last as i said there's that, that cloud at, at the end you've got the cloud with all of them so that's a good thing um Except one, the next one I'm going to mention, that's just a beastly fragrance. So, we'll get along to it now. So, the final fragrance from this beautiful house is Amber Absolutely. And absolutely it is. It's bloody gorgeous. <laughs> that was so Aussie of me. Um, this is gorgeous. This is just... <sighs> Of gorgeous stuff gorgeous stuff gorgeous stuff god if you love amber get it there's no way you will not like this trust me if you trust me you get this bottle if you're an amber lover oh my gosh it's absolutely spectacular and this one is actually in the levantine series on its own I'm, i hope i hope mr rasi if you're if you're watching i hope you do make another one in this series if it's going to be anything like this, oh my gosh. Okay, so the notes for this one. I think I love it so much because of the plum note. It's got a plum note and I absolutely adore plum in perfume. So the, the plum, blackcurrant, uh, rose, musk, amber, benzoin, cedar, vetiver and labdanum. Oh my gosh, another note that I love is labdanum. And this just is incredible. This fragrance is incredible. So, at the beginning, I smell a lot of smoke, smoky, smoky, resinous, honeyed amber with plum. The plum is always present, thank goodness, because I love it. And it's that type of amber. It's a smoky, very rich, very sweet, but not overly sweet at all. Like, it won't give you a headache or it won't make you feel ill. It's perfectly sweetened. Um... As I said, I can smell honey, but the honey isn't, isn't um, I can't see any honey in the list, but I smell honey. It's a honeyed, and I, you know what? I'm picking up, uh, I'm picking up this tobacco. I'm not sure where I'm getting that from or if I'm smelling the other fragrances. I don't know, but it's that. It's like a honeyed resinous tobacco, or maybe it's a vetiver. Is it vetiver? Yes, maybe it's the vetiver. Um... 
sweet opulent it's opulence in a bottle that I'll call this one the opulent one um, actually I should make a name for each and every one of them because each one of them is just incredible I'm in love with this house guys honestly please check them out please 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 check them out and as I said before wait for the dry down because they change they're ever-changing and it's a good thing I guess so this one yeah as I said it's um the labdanum is there the labdanum is there sorry the plum definitely a uh, little bit of black currant I don't really detect the black currant the rose definitely there musky amber yes benzoin yes vetiver definitely yes um it's a very bright sweet amber with a honeyed plum base that's that's just perfectly that's what just you know describes this scent it's it's just that but it's so beautiful it's so beautiful i cannot recommend it enough so this was my take on these incredibly gorgeous fragrances from fort and manley before i go i wanted to give you some little information about what's happening with this house okay so in december or by december they will change their packaging these bottles will no longer exist so if you really like these bottles of packaging you must get them now <laughs> go in their website they uh, they ship internationally and they do sell sample packs so you can try them but if you're keen on these bottles in particular um, if you love these bottles or the style because I don't I haven't seen the new ones that are coming out but I'm sure they're beautiful as well but if you want these ones in particular in your collection grab them now because otherwise they will be gone so um, that's it guys I really really uh, do hope you do check this house out I will link their uh, online um, store down below as I said they do ship internationally and you can just get a sample pack and try them they're, I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll fall in love because they're just absolutely incredible um, creations and thank you so much for watching guys and I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support I'll catch you next time bye bye